Hello everyone, in this video I'll be guiding you through the cleanup C7 installation process. As previous patches were discontinued and never had multiplayer in focus, we made a new patch for everyone since we love the game and hate people that try to ruin it for us. We have included a bunch of features, some of which I'll be demonstrating in this video. Here are some. A patch's most known crash or kick exploits, offers IP spoofing for enhanced privacy, it fixes FPS issues, offers a server browser, includes some quality of life features, and most importantly, as Black Ops 3's anti-cheat is non-operational, it utilizes an exploit to automatically disconnect previously bias identified cheaters, accompanied by a built-in report system. And now, let's get started with the installation. Start an internet browser of your choice and go to our website, cleanups.dev. The link is in the video description below. This is just a simple landing page. From here, we just want to continue to our GitHub. If you like, you can also join our Discord for updates or additional support. But now, simply click on the GitHub button and you'll be redirected to our GitHub repo. In here, we have written down information regarding features and installation and a quick Q&A. For full documentation of our patch, you can visit our GitHub wiki, which is also included in the video description. Now we want to go to the releases tab of our GitHub repo. From here you can download the cleanops t7.exe, which is all you will need to run the patch. Just click on the file and your browser should automatically start downloading the patch. Once finished, you can go into your downloads folder to see that the exe has been downloaded. You can now close the browser again if you like and we can continue with setting up the patch. The cleanops t7.exe needs to be put in your Black Ops 3 directory. The easiest way to find that is from your Steam library. Open Steam, select Black Ops 3 in your library, click on this cogwheel to the right and navigate from Manage to Browse Local Files and click that. This will now open your Black Ops 3 directory. You can minimize Steam again and simply put the cleanup c7.exe in your game directory. For easy access, we recommend setting up a desktop shortcut. Simply right click on the cleanup c7.exe Navigate to Send To and click on Desktop Create Shortcut. You'll now find a shortcut on your desktop. To prevent any confusion, you can delete your existing Black Ops 3 shortcut, as you will not need that for running cleanups. Now you can start cleanups by double clicking the shortcut. On the first start, this window will pop up. It just warns you from an unknown publisher. In order to continue, you will have to click on More Info and then on Run Anyway. Cleanups is now automatically starting Black Ops 3 for you. It will be downloading additional necessary files from our GitHub and then close by itself once the patch is injected into the game. That's it for the installation guide. Thank you for watching. Happy to see you back in game.